Art. I am an artist and a jeweler, but more so than that, I am a student of creativity and a teacher of creativity, which is the most important uh, element to have as an artist, a creator, an inventor, or any of that. You have to be into your creativity. So I want to talk a little bit about passion. Having a passion for your work is so important. This is just about passion. So I just started recently with a brand new group of students in my intentional metalsmithing course, which is an online, there's uh, seven segments to it. And it really is progressive and teaches you slowly but surely, you know, how to really just in, in, inexpensive, I call it the nomadic toolkit that's like $350. And you know, where you can really not be stopped by, I have to be in my studio, you know, I. I did some pieces where I'm out on the beach building silversmithing projects. But, you know, also it's like, because anytime you put yourself out of your norm, you, you know, and feel uncomfortable, this is growth. This is creative growth. So your objective is, you know, it's like when I come into my studio every day and my studio is in the same shape in the same place all the time, I have to get myself a break, which is to get up and away, walk around in my world, or, you know, move things around in my studio, clean things out, get things moving. It's important to keep energy moving around in your studio. So um, I do teach, so after being an, you know, being an artist, creating, doing multi-million dollar um, commercial lines all the way to museum exhibits to fashion runway to fashion lines of jewelry to milan runway to uh, hollywood sets you know i actually realized that what is the most important thing to any artist is to get into their creativity and but there are three ways to get there so there's three ways to be successful as an artist to be successful as an artist, and that is getting into creativity. The one is to really learn your techniques, master your technique, whether you're a painter, a jeweler, a mixed media artist, a glass artist, whoever you are, the most important is to get in and really ex master your technique and get in and explore you know, making your piece your own. How do you make it your own? So that's one, to learn the technical part of it. Two is the the, I'm gonna say the uh, energetic part of it. So this is the invisible side, which is creativity. This is what I love to teach. When I would get into my creativity years ago to build all this, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was being led this way. It's taken me six years to get all of the ways that I originally built my companies, built my creativity, built all of this. After selling my company six years ago, I've been on this path of marking things down, getting to the core of how do you get to your creativity? How do you build? How do you, how did I, what was my process to do all of this? It was very unconscious, you know, and this invisible side of it, the second thing is to really be in the creative consciousness. There's only two 
creative states to be in one, or two states to be in one, is that real fear base that does not feel good. Where you wanna copy people and you feel everybody else's work is better than you, or you feel like you're not good enough, or you know you can't figure out what to make, so you copy somebody else's work when you're at your bench, you know? That's not fun, that does not feel fun. That does not serve you well as an artist and a creator. But you could be burnt out, you know, and it's easy to go into that state. The second state is the state of creativity. And when you're in the creative state, that actually is a higher power. You want it, whether you talk about the universe, which I many times talk about the universe, everybody has their own guides and their own gods or their own, you know, religion or their own spirituality. But otherwise the universe, you know, you really have to be able to hand things over and work with the universe hand in hand to be able to get into this higher state of consciousness to be really in a beautiful state of consciousness. And another reason for it, you guys, when you're in this state, creativity heals. So I say I have many different types of students. I have some students who are learning silversmithing in my intentional metalsmithing course just to build for their friends and family and themselves, but really just to heal themselves. It really is. Creativity heals. Community heals. My group here on YouTube is a creativity collective for visionaries. And that's for all artists. And be, why? Because it heals to be in this creative state of mind. You, When you start really flowing and doing beautiful ideas like this, you get aligned. And when you're aligned, you create your magnetism and you create the people who match you. It's like kind of shining a light bulb. You know, when you're aligned, your people can find you easier because it's like shining a light bulb above your head on who you are, what your work is about. And your people can find you. Why wouldn't you want to be around all your people? I have worked with this again over the past six years like I talked about. And I feel so lucky because I find all of these new people who match my energy are coming my way. And this is all about the creativity process, you know? And it really is, it's like, look, when you take any of my courses that I have here, I talk about, um, you know, I have a membership, creativity membership called Unfolding, that is $25 a month. And that really is a lot of energy work. And that's the invisible. And, you know, it's really creating your own magnetism to make it easier for yourself to sell your work. The third thing that you need to be successful as an artist is to know your business, to know your own business. Unless you're working for someone else and unless you're just doing technical skills like repairs, blah, 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 you know, and some repairs are very creative. You need to have creativity. You need to have that invisible force of creativity working for you. You need to know your technical business, you know, your technical uh, of your craft and then you need your business skills. Building your own company is as unique as building your own body of work. Absolutely. So why is that so? It's like, look, I build companies as, uh, as a creative force. I build my companies the same way that I build a body of work, I promise you. And you will too. So I really like to help people get aligned. And you guys, you know, know that when you get aligned, you will, you would be able to do this on your own, you know, but I just love if you're invited to work within my group. I like the power of a group. I went through all of these experiences myself and really, you know, uh, since all my studies, I'm a student myself, which makes me an excellent teacher on this subject. So if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, leave me a message, tell me what you want to hear. I was really surprised because when I started my intentional metal smithing group that I have right now going on, I asked everyone in my group who feels passion in their work and hardly anyone raised their hand. And let me tell you guys something, passion heals, that's creativity. When you find your passion, your own personal passion, and there's another, I, I did put, uh, there's one in here called Passion, it's a live that I did. And I give you guys a lot of tips on how to get into your passion. So hop over to that if you want to. And um, you know, when you have your passion, you're so excited about life. You can't help but to pour love into your work. You can't help but to pour love into your business. You can't help but to pour love into your life. We are working artists, you know? I mean, we, I talk about us as an artist, but 
this is your life. It's a lifestyle. Being an artist is a lifestyle. It's not like I'm going into my studio, I'm gonna be an artist today, and then I'm leaving and going home. Being an artist is a lifestyle. It doesn't take training. Every, you know, people always ask me, is being an artist learned or is it something that you are? And it's like some people, we all are born with different skills, but you know, you certainly can learn and strengthen your creativity skills. And that's what I'm here for, is to help you strengthen your creativity skills, to learn how to take energy in from the world, get rid of, filter out, get rid of the stuff that you don't need, that is not good for you, and to be able to bring through your body um, really important elements you know, that help you to define your own work and make your own work unique. We're artists. It's like as creators and artists, inventors, you, um, you personally, we are really needed in this world. I promise you. We are so needed. If you're doing aligned and doing your personal work. So um, that's it. You know, it's, that's the job of an artist and that's my pathway and you're welcome to join me and every single one of us is relevant and important and I'd like to help on this channel. You know, really, this is our community. Let's grow.